Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the pioneer field agronomist in Western Illinois. I want to talk to you all about some of the things that I'm seeing currently in the soybean crop as it starts to senesce. Some of the fields in the area have already been cut or they are looking like they could be ready to cut at any minute once the weather gets fit. There are some fields that have a long way to go and you can see I'm currently standing in one of those fields that's just starting to turn. But there is a trend we're starting to see in some of the fields is that there are spots in the field that look like they could cut tomorrow or today if the weather was fit. But there's other areas in that field that still have green leaves, the stems are green, but the pods are ready to be cut. They're at the right moisture. Of course, we have the fields that we replanted in and you can see where that field looks ready to cut, but the replant areas are still green. I don't wanna talk about those because that's to be expected when we plant later, those soybeans are gonna take a little bit longer to mature. I wanna talk about the fields where we planted the same day, the same variety, and we're still seeing those areas that we're having issues where those beans are still holding on the leaves and the stems may be green. What we typically see in those areas is something we call green stem syndrome. What that entails is basically is we have a plant here and the pods, and this, this plant isn't exactly the best example, I'll show you in a picture here. You'll see that the stems are green there may be some leaves still on the plant, but the pods are at the right moisture. They're dry, they're ready to be harvested. That is probably the biggest concern. We have beans that are ready to be shelled, but it's very easily to look at them and say, you know what, they're not ready to cut because the leaves are still on them, the stems are still green. The question is, what causes this? Is it insects? Is it is it a virus that comes in? Uh, is it environmental? Uh, the biggest thing is there could be several things that cause this. There, there has been some research done that says maybe some insect feeding can stress that out. But the biggest thing I want to talk about is typically it's when we have a stress that causes pods to be lost. When we get into some of these planting dates where we went through a massive amount of stress, and a lot of it's actually the stress we went through in July when most of the area went with maybe a quarter to half an inch of rain when we were going post flowering, we were going into those pod setting stages, we went through a drought stress and caused that plant to most likely lose some pods. What the plant is doing during that stage is bulking up its carbohydrates, it's getting that energy just like we would before we're gonna go do a workout and output a bunch of energy. What it does is it stores that. And then what happens when we lose those pods because we go through a stress, we have excess carbohydrate, excess energy, and we need to do something with it. So what that plant does, is that plant will hold on to it and keep those stems green, keep that plant alive, but everything is ready to be harvested. So you have two options when you find those areas in the fields. You can either one, wait till a frost and hope that that frost is a killing frost to, to kill that plant, get, get it to start to dry down so it's a little bit easier to harvest. But if you do that, the rest of that field, you're probably drying down to a moisture that's not, re not very good for harvesting. You're gonna have a lot of shattering. You may have pods start to crack open and lose beans on the ground. That's not gonna be a great opportunity. Unfortunately, probably the best opportunity is to make sure you have a sharp sickle and you go out there and you take your time and you grind through those green areas because those beans most likely are ready to be harvested because they're at the right moisture. The pods are, the beans are. It's the plant itself that's not. So make sure you're taking a look at those areas. Make sure you're doing the right things in those areas to, to do the best for the bean plant and hopefully for your yield at the end of the day. I hope you all have a safe harvest and thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.